Let's get started. Create a new composition. Go to composition, click new. Rename it Nebula Texture. For this composition, I'm using 3840 by 1920 size. Frame per second is 29.97 and duration of this composition is 10 seconds. Click OK. Now go to Timeline, right click and add solid layer. Rename it to Flux. Click OK. Go to Effects and Presets. And go to Metal and add Metal Flux effect to this layer. You can download this effect from the link below given in the description. Go to Frame Layout and change it to Monoscopic. Go to Preset and change it to Solar Wind. Move the timeline to 0 seconds. Now click Stopwatch next to Evolution X, Evolution Y and Evolution Z to add a keyframe. Move the timeline to 10 seconds and change the value of all to one full rotation. Change the mode of this layer to screen. Now duplicate this layer, by pressing Ctrl D. Go back to the flux effect and go to preset. Change it to Phoenix. Go to 3D transform. And change volume position Z to minus 8.5. Again duplicate this layer, by pressing Ctrl D. Go back to the flux effect and go to preset. Change it to nebula. Go to 3D transform. And change volume position Y to 4.5 and volume position Z to minus 3.4. Again duplicate this layer, by pressing Ctrl D. Go back to the flux effect and go to preset. Change it to electric pulse. Go to 3D transform. And change volume position Y to minus 5.1. And volume position Z to minus 3.4. Now create a new composition. Rename it to texture size of this composition would 1920 by 1920. Duration is 10 seconds. Click OK. Go to project window and drag nebula texture composition to the timeline. Go to effects and presets and add a CC sphere effect to this layer. Move the timeline to 0 seconds. Go to rotation and click stopwatch next to rotation Y. Now move the timeline to 10 seconds. And change the value to one full rotation. Change the radius to 750. Go to render and change it from full to inside. Duplicate this layer, by pressing Ctrl D. Change the render from inside to outside. Also change the mode of this layer from normal to screen. Now add a solid layer to this composition and rename it to center. Move this layer, between the nebula texture layers. Change the mode of this layer to screen. Go to effects and presets. Add a metal flux effect to this layer. Change preset from none to aurora borealis. Go to 3D transform. Change volume position Z to 17.5. Move timeline to 0 seconds. And click stopwatch next to volume rotation Y. Now move the timeline to 10 seconds. And change its value to one full rotation. Go to nebula texture layer and go to shading. Change ambient to 100. And change diffuse, specular roughness and metal to 0. Do it same for other nebula texture layer. Now add a solid layer to this timeline and rename it to Mask. Go to Tools and select Eclipse Tool. Draw Eclipse cover the whole circle. Now open the mask and duplicate it, by pressing Ctrl D. Change the mode to subtract for Mask 2. Also change the mode of Mask layer from Normal to Screen. Go to Effects and Presets and add a fill effect to this layer. Change the color as per your need. Open Mask 2 and change Mask Feather to 150. And Mask Expansion to minus 35.
Now create last composition and rename it to final. Size of this composition would be 1920 by 1080. Click OK. Go to project window and add the texture composition to the timeline. Press S to open scale and change its value to 60. Duplicate this layer, by pressing Ctrl D. Go to toolbar and double click the eclipse tool, to create a mask. Duplicate the mask, by pressing Ctrl D. Change its mode to subtract. Change its mask feather to 145. And mask expansion to minus 210. Go to effects and presets and add CC radial fast blur to this layer. Change the amount to 73. Change the mode of this layer from normal to screen. Duplicate this layer twice. Now add adjustment layer to the timeline. Go to effects and preset and add a lumetary color effect to this layer. Go to creative and change sharpen value to 100. And change vibrance to 38. Now add a noise effect to this layer. Change amount of noise to 20%. Duplicate this adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl D. Delete both the effect from this layer. Go to effects and presets and add optics compensation effect to this layer. Move the timeline to 0 seconds. And click stopwatch next to field of view. Change its value to 150. Now move the timeline to 2 seconds and change its value to 0. Check the reverse lens distortion. Now play the animation to check. That is folks for today. I hope you like my video. If you like the video, please click the like button. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to it. Thank you and have a nice day.